Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Hotel Renovator. I am very excited to go ahead and get this one started. If you missed last week's episode, go back and check that out before you check this one out. With that being said, let's go ahead and continue our game where we were about to read a letter from Grandpa, I believe. All right, and here we are. Yes, it is definitely a letter from Grandpa and uh, we are hanging out in the lobby and I have to pick up the letter. Dear kids. Welcome to my hotel. I hope you'll have fun returning it to its former glory. You'll be surprised what you might find at the end of the road. Enjoy the journey. Roy Bennett. I was right. This letter really is from our grandpa. I really hope we can make him proud. Well, I hope we can make him proud as well, BB101. So I do not know how it's our grandpa when you're a, uh, you're a floating robot, but you know, okay, we'll go with it. Ooh, new quality level unlocked. We got a lot of new stuff it looked like. Here we go. Let's pick a name for this place and start working. All right. Uh, and exactly how do you want us to do that? Oh, okay. It's just a little slow on the pop up there. So I'm going to, I think we can change this. So we're just going to be hotel. I am leaving it completely up to you. Let me know down in the comment section what you want the name of the hotel to be. And we will rename it to that as long as it is family friendly. Good evening. My name is Vlad Romanescu. I am staying the night and I have a few modest requirements. I like silence. If I am disturbed, well, let's say I can get rather hot blooded. Light irritates my sensitive eyes. So I'll need some dark curtains. Please remove any mirror. And that was my attempt at a vampire. So I hope you enjoyed that. And so we will go ahead and go up to the first floor. And there's a roof now as well. I don't believe there was a roof last time. All right. So room number 103. And down here on the left hand side. I have to kick open the door. And uh, just before we get to work, I am going to let you know that I'm going to leave you with a very brief time lapse of the room being renovated because it can get rather rather still and boring and if uh, something interesting happens I will come back to you but I will see you in just a few minutes All right, and I'm back with you. So as you can see, I did demolish pretty much everything up in here. The floors, ceiling, walls, all of that. So I found this, I found this lamp, a vintage lamp, and we can sell it for $25. So we'll go ahead and sell that. I found this lamp for another $25. And then I found a little Buddha statue for $15. And in here, I found a really nice little vase for 50 bucks. So another 50 buckaroonies were right there. And now, the egg the golden egg whoa a golden egg we better keep it so we will go ahead and f to collect our egg and that was worth a thousand dollars we have a thousand doll hairs from our egg that is wonderful actually all right so now we get to go ahead and actually start putting this room back together so this room and the bathroom we're going to go ahead and start putting it back together. Once again, going to do a very quick little time lapse with that. But just before we go, I do want to let you know, it does say add curtains, candles, shades of black and red. So those are some of the things that I will be looking for in the design process as I'm going through it. But I will return to you in just a moment.
all right and welcome back so this is kind of what i came up with so i thought that was a bit more gray than it is purpley but i ended up leaving it and then i'm not real sure how i feel about this but i did go with like a very light gray tile and then kind of a, a darker gray ceiling and the floors are kind of a light gray as well with the exception of in here and i just kind of utilize the same paint color throughout with the exception of of course the floor in here and uh we're gonna go ahead and take care of the floor right now so we're gonna end up doing a tile in here not carpet there we go ceramic tiles and nothing too crazy nothing too busy um maybe something like you know what i actually very much do like that the reason i decided to go with gray everywhere as opposed to black and red is because you know this room actually does have to be used for other guests and uh while vlad may be a vip he uh he's not gonna pay for us to repaint our entire hotel because he uh wanted a black and red room now can i fault the man for wanting a black and red room no absolutely not as a matter of fact i would love to have a black and red room but it's not gonna be allowed i do know that <laughs> so we can uh hang out here and watch the floor fall all right and and now we can go ahead and start on our basic design, which is going to be our furnishings. Let's start as always with our bed and see what new beds are available. So we have this one, but it's kind of small. And then there's that one, that one, that one doesn't have a headboard. All the rest of these are locked. You know, I think for a bed, I'm going to go with this one. Let's put it against the little accent wall that we do have there. All right, now we're going to need two nightstands. So we just boop right on over to cabinet. See what's new. Okay, I can live with that. Can we change the colors? Let's go with... Uh, a darker color there we go well i didn't want to set that there i'll pick that up in a moment there we go oh, get back in place there we go all right now we're going to need a table so this is going to be essentially our little living room area so we'll go ahead and get bigger furniture first which is going to be our couch or sofa as it were in the game seems like we got some pretty good options this go around okay i like this one i can safely say i've stayed in a hotel that has had that same couch all right now the table so furniture back into tables coffee tables and see what's new that's kind of funky and interesting i do like that we'll go ahead and set that dude right there now we need a chair and once again checking to see what is new i kind of like this one and it plays well with others so let's go ahead and oh, rotate it and we'll put it right about there i feel like that'll work how many chairs do we need just the one okay now we're going to need a wardrobe which i figure can go right in here maybe or let's see maybe the wardrobe would be better in the bedroom let's put it in the bedroom we can go with that but let's see uh do we have different color options we do if we tab down into colors and we'll have it match our end tables just kind of sorta i don't think anything in this game actually matches 100 percent. and now we need a couple of shelves i feel like this wall would be the perfect wall for some shelves okay so i like this one we'll put this one here and we need a second one and we have this whole wall that has absolutely nothing going on with it so we'll utilize that there we also have another wall over there that has nothing going on all right so now we need one table and we also need two chairs so maybe this will be the little eating area right here hey that actually works pretty well and then a couple of chairs as well you know what don't hate it actually and we'll rotate it a couple of times and just slide it on right in there and then in there as well okay so let's go ahead and take care of the bathroom real quick and the bathroom they want us to put in one sink that's a bathtub so we are looking no we actually do need a bathtub so we we definitely do need a bathtub uh let's see what other options are available that is kind of very interesting it gives me kind of like coffin vibe so uh sure why not let's stick that dude over there in the corner and then one toilet we'll use this toilet and we need one sink and two cabinets so a washstand we'll go with this washstand that's probably too low but we need a couple of bathroom cabinets all right now then that's what i ended up doing with that so uh we need one additional cabinet let's see what other cabinets are going to be available to us uh not that dude how about this dude right here we'll just kind of under the window with it it won't let me push it back any further so right there we need uh, two bathroom accessories so i mean that's pretty easy we can just put some towels over here we can definitely go with uh, a roll of toilet paper and then bathroom handle uh just to help people get up out the tub right about there i enjoy the bathroom accessories in this so i'm gonna do a few more and then of course a hand towel there and a hand towel there all right and then maybe one of these here 
go ahead and put a radiator and that's gonna be all we're going to do to the bathroom all right and decoration so we do know that we need black and red themed going on not a book it's got some red in it and we also need candles apparently uh do we have any other decorations that are gonna be red and or black uh, that thing is massive still looking for something black and red themed We'll put in some candles. Oh, we need one more decoration. All right. Uh, how about a candle over here? And maybe a candle on each bedside table. Because here at this hotel, we don't care if you burn it down. All right. And then a couple of pictures. And I love this picture right here. We're just going to go ahead and do that one. Oh, this is nice. And, you know, it definitely vibes with the red theme that we're going for here. So how about that right there? Now we need a plant. Uh, maybe not a cactus. Uh, how about that one? All right, and then a couple of these dudes, and these are going right here for sure. One there, and one there. And then we will put one right about there, and then another one right about there. All right, chandelier time. All right, so I like this one, and I feel like it goes well with the uh, vampire theme that we're trying to create here. So we need a total of two chandeliers, one in there, of course, one in the bedroom. We're not done yet. Curtains. There we go, and some, uh, some curtains there for... Being able to block out sunlight and things like that. But they're also open. So let's see here. This one is... I believe this one is done. We need to just go ahead and book the room. And we will be complete with this one. Pull up our tablet. And booking. And room 103. Okay, so I am attempting to... Okay. Alright, so I'm a fool. What we need to do is we actually need to come right over here. And stand here and hold space to finish it out. There we go now we can actually book the room so this is the before and the after and we'll book the room now two hundred dollars a day room offered we'll take that anytime two hundred dollars a day actually a pretty good price and a thousand dollars for the reward st uh style reward yeah there we go basement go to the basement mysterious with hello well this is not what i was expecting however knows that the hotel has a basement yeah i guess you can check out the basement mr sir oh go to the basement and see what's going on we're not going to the disco we're going to the ground floor i have to go to the ground floor and we'll go check out the basement what does he mean it's not what he wanted i felt like it was pretty pretty right on all right so go through here and through here to get to the basement please do not turn on the lights i can see just fine the interior is dark and damp just as I prefer. And what is this chest, he says. I, I don't know what this chest is. Which chest are you referring to? This, this, and open the chest, and it's got stuff in it. Oh, and here comes Vlad, I'm assuming. And he said not to turn on the light, but uh, I haven't actually turned on the light. Empty the chest, okay. Uh, how, how do you suppose that we do that? You want us to just like, oh, we just break everything in here, okay. Okay, well, I wasn't quite done with that. So he says the chest is much more comfortable than the room and he's going to stay in the chest and he appreciates our understanding. However, he will still pay well, for great. the uh, room. We kill two birds with one stone. While our strange guest sleeps in the chest, our new customer can stay in room 103. We doubled our income. Uh, we did something, BB 101. And so now we have a vampire sleeping in our basement and apparently a normal guest sleeping upstairs. So it's a good thing I decided to make the room, uh, you know, not just vampired up. And uh, we apparently discovered a bellhop uniform. And also going to sell a few things while we're down here and break something evidently. There we go. Get that sold. That is really loud. We may need to get a maintenance person down here. Look at that. I am Selene from the Horizons. You might have heard of our single, Destroy. We'd love to uh, record a video in the lobby while you smash up the place. That would be pretty cool. Uh, however, I think that is going to wait for the next time as that is going to be it for this episode of Hotel Renovator. I hope you have enjoyed this content. If you would rather that I interact and talk and hang out and all that during the smashing and painting and all that, I just know that that can get a little boring. So I'm trying something a little new this week. But if you would like for me to switch it back to how it was, just let me know down in the comment section. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And also, if you have not already and you would like to, definitely subscribe to the channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much and have a great day.